here's the reality, man. How, how if I had kids, how would I raise them? All right. So a comment just before I read it off. Let me just fucking read that again. Um, not having to go at the person. This is just a, it's a common one that comes up. So it's not a generalized comment at one individual. It's one uh, uh, currently fine. But it said something about have heaps of kids and raise them all vegan. You know, create more children. And it's like no, 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 no. I hear where you're coming from, and I, I really respect that virtue and that generosity and that mindset. But it's not fucking reality. It ain't fucking reality. That consciousness is good, but the strategy, eh, consciousness, idea good, strategy, eh. There's 153 million motherfucking orphans on the planet. Why the fuck are we getting women pregnant, fucking up their hormones, fucking up their bodies? When you have a kid, you change forever. You know, I shouldn't say fucking up, I should say changing. Why are we changing women's bodies? Most women, if they're really fucking honest, don't like what happens to their body after they have a kid. Most women do not like it, if they're being totally honest with you, in my opinion, all right? So you can ask her around. You can comment down below anonymously if you disagree or agree. That's the reality of it. My mum always used to go, I had three kids, and now my uterus and my fucking prolate, you know, my boobs dropped, and she's all this sort of shit, you know? And that's just how it is. Stretch marks and depression and money, and it's fucking hard having giving birth to fucking children, guys, all right? So think before you fuck. Getting an abortion... Is easy to do, but it has its consequences as well. A vasectomy is your best motherfucking option. If you're fucking women and you don't want to have children, you're a one irresponsible motherfucking cunt if you haven't had a vasectomy. Uh -huh. That's my opinion. Again, a lot of people disagree with it, some of my really close friends disagree with it. But I'm going to tell them, you're a cunt. If you are fucking women and you don't want to have children, you had a vasectomy, you're a ballless cunt. Man up, put your nuts on the line, snip, snip. And then bust your nuts into your missus, no worries. You will have an increased level of sex drive because you'll be like, I'll be honest with you, man. Before I have a sex with me, I was fucking paranoid as fuck about knocking someone up. I mean, one, one of my girlfriends at the time, I'm like, so what if you know, what if you were, because I didn't want her on the pill, or she was on it, I was, she was probably like, I don't know what the fuck was going on. That's 13 years ago. She was on it, and then she got off her, and then, anyway, I could talk about an hour for that one. But let's just say, like, what I do remember from that one, that conversation, is I said, what if you do get pregnant, you know? She goes, oh, I'll just move out. <laughs> I'm just thinking, whoa, my, my dick just went like, just thick and just like, I was like, wow, did my dick just fall off? I've got zero sex drive for the next fucking year now. And in my head, I was just thinking shit. I, was, I appreciated her honesty, but I was like, this is got, this is, no, 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 no. So I, I just said to myself, Harley, you know, you just got to get a vasectomy, dude. You got to man up. I'm like, oh, just, oh no, 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 dude, Harley, you just got to man up and get a fucking vasectomy and stop relying putting the pressure on women to take care of the contraception, take the hormones, or have to do abortion, all that shit, all right? So I'd man the fuck up and get a motherfucking vasectomy. And back then, I didn't have the internet, I didn't have cunts on YouTube like me telling you, go get a vasectomy, this is what you gotta do. Back in 2005, man, 2003 and that, internet is for people who had like $7,000 laptops and, you know, you just didn't use the internet much back then. You know, email once a month or something. It's not like now, man, when you got fucking iPhones and shit. Every, every fucking 10 year old in the US got iPhones some bullshit. You know, it's like, it's crazy. It's awesome and it's also fucked up as well. But this whole thing about, oh, you're going you're gonna to raise kids and they're going to be vegan. And it's like, no, 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 fuck off, man. That's just like so much bullshit. That's just like saying, I'm going to buy an iPhone and heaps of hot babes are going to come and call me. I'm going to go to KFC and, and like the guy on the TV, all these hot chicks will come rub my shoulders and steal my nuggets and hot sauce. And that ain't going to fucking happen. I'm going to I'm gonna like fill my carpet shell and fucking Messi and Ronaldo and the World Cup soccer team is going to start kicking the ball around this gas station. And they're like, hey, come on, get in. Then there's all these hot chicks drinking beer coming in and it'll be all bloody. But no, 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 that's not fucking reality. We have these things in our head, oh, this is going to happen, no, 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 when you're dealing with human emotion, human ego, shit gets real, real quick, and shit can change like fucking that, like the weather, man, you can't control that, all you can do is control your actions to that, you can't control people's emotions, even on fucking mind control drugs, or the mass media, or whatever, they can't control every motherfucker out there, most people are little puppets walking around with strings on them, but a few motherfuckers cut their strings off and go, fuck that, man, I don't need no puppet for some motherfucking puppeteer, I only live my own life and do my thing. And that's what I did, man. When you get a vasectomy, you instantly cut yourself from having children or having more children. You cut yourself instantly of more responsibility. Whether you've got 10 children and then you cut yourself from having more, you instantly cut your responsibility. You cut your level of stress. When you cut responsibility, cut your level of stress, all of a sudden your daily participation in your motherfucking reality expands, it increases. All right? Sounds all new age, woo woo, spiritual bullshit, but it's fucking true. Think about it. When you have less stress and responsibility, you can go, oh, what do I want to fucking do today? 
You know, when you're all like wide and like, ah, it's full on, man. It's motherfucking full on. Ask anyone who has children, do you have more stress and responsibility in your life? <laughs> yes, motherfuckers. They'll look at you like, are you fucking serious? They'll be like, are you got a fucking fever, you dumb cunt? Of course, it's the highest stress, highest responsibility job on the planet, raising conscious kids in a motherfucking unconscious world. So if you're a conscious cunt out there and you're going to try and raise conscious kids, in this Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber, fucking snorting cocaine, all this crazy action man, steroid, fake natty bullshit. This fucking insane, man. You got 12 year old kids getting Botox and shit. You know, you got, it's just it's a fucking crazy world, man. Alright? And you go, well, I'm gonna, oh, we're gonna dilute it. You know, we're gonna, no, 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 no. There's already enough kids out there. If you're serious about that, then grab a kid by the fucking shoulder and go, hey, motherfucker, you wanna go vegan? No. Okay, hey, motherfucker, you wanna go vegan? Yes. Okay, come with me, motherfucker. I don't want to be vegan. Okay, fuck off. We've got someone else. And you create like an army. Like, you're my kids, man. This is my audience. This is my children. This is how I get to give back. Can you imagine, like, fucking raising a kid and then they just like, fuck you, I don't wanna do that shit. You know what I mean? Like, fuck, man. That would be the hardest motherfucking rejection, whatever, man. I mean, that's what I fear. I fear giving for 18 years and spending $200,000 for some ungrateful motherfucking teenager to become like I was at age. You know, and I just want to fucking stab the cunt in the face. I wouldn't, but you know what I'm trying to say? So again, even if we live in this perfect world, we don't. There's just no reason to have more children. And people just... This is go. This message is going into people, but they're like, oh, no, no. and they just go, your haircut shit. Okay, I'll do the comb over for you. Oh, the, the capsicum's not perfect. We live in a fucking world. You couldn't sell this motherfucking capsicum red bell pepper in most supermarkets around the world because it's got a fucking moggy shape. And most fuckers are like, oh, that's that fucking thing. It's just like all weird. But this is going to be the best motherfucking capsicums around. There's a spot on there. there. That is fucking good girl red bell pepper. But we don't live in a world where people appreciate your stuff, man. We live in a world where, like, oh my god, you just put it in a fucking capsicum, you're like, you crazy? Like, cook it. Cook it, man. Cook it. <laughs> don't eat all vegetables, man. It's not poisonous. Cook it, man. We live in a fucking cooked world, man. Cunts are so cooked, they're fucking cooking the air they breathe. We don't have, in my opinion, a fucking, what's the word I'm looking for? To bring more children into this world in 2016. To go, oh, I need, I'm gonna have some kids. More, I'm gonna have more kids. It's like, man, I, I, I just don't want to be part of that. And that's why I had a motherfucking vasectomy. If you want to create an army, you're better off doing, spending time supporting people with influence. The average kid has fuck all influence. Motherfuckers on YouTube with some subs and shit. So well, not subs, but 30 day views. Those motherfuckers got influence. So if you want to create change, the best, the most powerful motherfuckers on the planet right now are YouTubers. People with big 30 day hits. These are 100% the most powerful people because the biggest audience right now is teenage kids on YouTube. And you, that's the next generation. They're the motherfuckers who have jobs soon and they'll be spending money. So they'll be go laying down 100 bucks a week at KFC or 100 bucks at local organic shop getting vegan fruit or fruit and, pro, fruit and produce. So that's what who would influence. We, because they're they're creating the future for the kids coming up, man. So you people out there who go, oh, I'm going to kids one day, no, no. And then you, let's say you get some girl pregnant. She's like, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a fairy tale. This guy really loves me. And then all of a sudden, she's just like, doesn't like how her body looks now. Because most people, let's let's fucking be real. Most vegans are narcissists. Most people that hang, on, not just most vegans. Most people on the fucking planet are narcissistic. And most people who really care about their sort of aesthetics and that will come up to a vegan diet because it's easier to stay leaner relative to what you would otherwise. It's easier to be healthy and stuff like that. And once you start having popping out kids and the stress kicks in, you look older than you normally are and, and your identity is like aesthetics and that starts to change. I'll tell you what, guys out there, if you fucking get with a chick and knock her up and her aesthetics changes, she is going to be motherfucking one wild cat to be with. Not a wild cat in a good way. Because she has built her identity around aesthetics. Shit's gonna change. Shit's gonna change in that body. When you bring a child to nine months, mate, and give birth to that, it's gonna be a big cesarean scar or whatever. And that's not a problem, that's fine. You know, right? That's natural fucking, that's what happens in birth. But most people don't understand that, you know? Most people don't understand that at all. And then when it happens, like, oh my God, I didn't know about that. Didn't get taught that on fucking TV. So all these things aren't an issue, but it's, the issue is when people don't understand what happens and it comes on them, like, oh my God. Oh my God, this person's got postnatal fucking depression, you know? I had one friend who had a kid with someone and she just lost it, man. 
She literally had to go to psych ward. They had to, and then he's got his child to look after, you know. And I'm not sure what's happened. I've told him spoken for a while, but it was it went messy as fuck, man. So think before you fuck. Get a vasectomy. I know a 19 year old kid had a vasectomy. You know, like he just fucking forged his passport documents in the photocopy. And the surgeon's like, no worries, you know. So they said he was 24 and had a couple of kids or whatever. So, and that's that's a life of freedom right there. When you don't have children, like if I had children, man, I couldn't do what I'm doing now. I couldn't be as fit as I am. I couldn't be as wealthy as I am. I couldn't be as healthy as I am. Because you got more fucking stress, more responsibility. So that's a little 11 minute video. Post your comments down below. Let's do some follow ups. If you want to fucking add more stress and responsibility on your plate, have more kids. Simple as that.